Hey yo, what is up guys? Baby Luca here and today we're gonna go over the top five blasters in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So before we jump into it, uh, YouTube's making some changes with content creators, making it harder for smaller channels like myself. <laughs> so if you guys haven't already, click that subscribe button because it goes a much farther way now and I would really appreciate it. So that being said, let's get into it. Number five. Now that they got rid of that gigantic flashlight every time you went to snipe someone and replace it with a freaking speck on the map, you would need a magnifying glass to see it. It makes, it makes room for the specialist to actually be a usable class. So for number five on this list, that goes to the A280CFE. Now there is a toss up between this and the NT242. The NT242 can get you a one shot KO. However, it's only useful from far range. It's basically useless when you're up against an enemy up close or medium range. Whereas the A280 is practical from long, medium, and even short range. You can get a lot of kills from short range with this gun. It's just you have to watch your health because it's only 100. It's all around one of the most diverse guns in a game. Not to mention when you unlock the burst mode mod, the rate of fire is just ridiculous on it. So it comes with three mods. It does burst mode, which is the best mode. And if you're going for this weapon, definitely unlock that. Dual zoom and ion shot. Don't worry too much about ion shot. If you're going to play with this class and this gun, worry about the two first. Number four, EL16 HFE. Again, very close call between this and the CR2. But bottom line, the CR2 is only good close up. The EL16 HFE might not fire at the same rate, but it's consistently strong shots, making it an excellent gun at medium and long range. You can keep your distance and get huge kill streaks using this gun. Highly recommended on levels that have open maps like Kashyyyk, Hoth, and even parts of Kamino. I was able to get a huge kill streak on it. Uh, it comes with three mods: reduced recoil, improved range, and dual zoom. Overall, very strong weapon from far range and medium range, which places it high up on the list. Number three is the SE44C. I can consider this a better version of the CR2. The rate of fire is just insane when you mix it with rapid fire with this gun. On top of that, it feels like you never need to reload. The gun might lose some accuracy the farther out you are, but it's still pretty decent at medium to far range. But this is by far the best weapon for taking out as many enemies as possible when close up. If you're ever in a 1v3 situation, this is a gun that you would want to have during that. Even though the range on it is weak, the rapid fire makes up for it, so you'll at least get a ton of assists if you're firing from afar. Now it comes with three mods, like they all do. Improved cooling, night vision, and rapid fire. What you really want to get is the improved cooling and then absolutely grind for that rapid fire. Number two, the TL-50. What makes the TL-50 so powerful is the mix between that and heavy. Now, Heavy has the highest health in the game, not to mention its rate of fire on this weapon is one of the highest for any weapon. You're able to stay, you're able to take shots longer than anyone else while having such a fast shooting weapon. You're most likely going to beat the other person out for the kill no matter what gun they have. This gun is really quick, not as high in damage, but the rate of fire makes up for it. If you like fast paced game style with a lot of health, this is the perfect class and the perfect weapon for you. And it ranks very high up there on our list. And it comes with three mods. So the three mods for it is improved cooling, reduced spread, and secondary fire. A lot of people think secondary fire is good. With this, it's really not. So you really just want to focus on the first two, which would be the improved cooling and the reduced spread on the way. So before we get into number one, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button for more content. And now let's get into it. Number one, the blur. Yes, it was just nerfed. Yes, it is still the best gun in the game. I honestly can't tell the difference between the nerf and the old version. And this is my main gun. I use this gun 80% of the time. This is my go-to weapon, and I can't even tell the difference with the nerf. 
It has crazy range, which they said they changed a little bit. Again, I didn't notice that much of a difference. But nonetheless, it takes two shots to kill any enemy. And if you aim it at their head, it only takes one. It's a great weapon. It's really quick. Very consistent. You just need to have pretty precise aim. But you can get away with, you know, aiming a little off and moving it at the same time. But it is by far the best weapon in the game. Close range, as well as medium range. And you could kill, you could kill snipers from across the map. They might have changed it a little bit, but you still have a pretty good shot, which is just crazy. So the three mods on it is reduced recoil, improved burst, and exploding shot. Don't worry about exploding shot. Just want to focus on the first two mods. Now, something to remember: not everyone's going to be good with the same gun. Maybe a gun that wasn't on this list is the gun you're best with. And if that's the case, let me know below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.